Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk to you about some of the things that took me by surprise when I moved to London. So obviously one of the biggest things that kind of shocked me was just how big London really is. There are so many different parts to it and different parts of the city that you could really never really scratch the surface of even if you've lived here for a long time and I'm hopeful that I'll get to have more of a chance to explore it once lockdown's over of course. And when it comes to some of the just ways of life in London, the first thing that for me I definitely noticed was how air conditioning isn't as much of a common thing, which was definitely a bit tough at first because I also come from a drier climate in the United States, so the humidity also kind of took me by surprise, but now I really enjoy the time of year, which maybe my opinion will change once summer comes by, but by then I'll, I'll have invested in a good fan, so I'm not too worried about it. Now, another thing I heard a lot when I told people I was going to move to London is that the weather is terrible. People were telling me it's always gray and it's always super dismal. And to be fair, it can be pretty rainy here, but there have been a lot of nice days since I've been here. And I also don't really mind the rain too much. So I've been enjoying it so far. And it really helps that, especially in a spot like Kingston, there are a lot of beautiful green parks and places to visit and a lot of very beautiful countryside that you can visit with just a short train ride. So another thing that I was kind of surprised about when I moved to London is that closing hours tend to be a bit earlier than I expected. When you visit a bigger city like New York or perhaps Los Angeles, you kind of expect things to be open a lot later. And maybe this is more the case for central London, but definitely in Kingston things do close a bit earlier, which is actually pretty nice. It's a good way to help motivate me, especially during lockdown, to go out and get my errands done in the morning or in the early afternoon so I can use my evening to perhaps work on things around the house or work on my homework. Next, I would say that the food definitely took me by surprise. I was kind of expecting the food to not be as great because a lot of people usually kind of roast British culture for perhaps not being especially adventurous with their food, but I've really enjoyed the food that I've had here. I really enjoy a nice English breakfast or a Sunday roast. And we're also really lucky to have a lot of diverse places around us that serve different kinds of foods from different places. And I've been really happy with how much I've been able to explore when it comes to cuisine. So lastly, one thing that I heard a lot when I was moving over was that the people were very unfriendly and they were really stuck up and that it was going to be hard to find a place as an American. And of course, there are a couple of unspoken rules about not speaking on the tube and things like that. But for the most part, people have been very kind and I have considered myself very lucky to be here and to get to meet so many wonderful people, not only from London, but also from all over the world.